Hello everybody, today we're going to do a tech tips video where we're going to start a little bit of a planned uh, use of some of the tech tips we've covered. So we talked about doing load lines, we talked about how that stuff works. Today I'm going to start off with, we have a couple of tubes that a buddy of mine from work gave me. I had quite a few, but there's two 6AV7s. These are some of these cool metal, metallic covered ones. These are pentodes. They're kind of small signal pentodes. They're not designed necessarily for major output. I think max wattage, we'll look at the dish, it's about three, three watts at maximum output. And then also I've got a couple of these guys, which are 6CG7s, and uh, these are dual triodes. So what I'm gonna do is, these are normally used for video use, and we're gonna kind of quickly, I'll, I'll minimize my screen here, and we'll go to where you can see. Uh, this is the data sheet for the 6AB7, which is that pentode. Uh, that has, uh, runs at 0.4, I think it's 0.45 amps, it's a little broken up, 6.3 volts. Uh, so we'll have to make sure if there's two of those, we have to have 0.9 uh, amps total, or about an, uh, one amp of heater current, uh, plus whatever else we added from those those the other tube, the, the two tubes we're looking at. Um, but then we also will be able to look at, and, and I'm not going to cover this now as much, but I want to kind of prep for what we're doing so that we can kind of get this first phase ready. We do have this typical kind of uh, um, the where we can do the load lines, and so we'll be able to go and calculate load lines on this guy and figure out what we think is the best place. We talked about last time with the pentodes, you want to watch the knee, we keep it vertical, we need to find the right voltage level and the right resistors and whatnot, so we'll do that. There's a lot of these different sheets here, but that first one is that most important one we'll need for that. Um, and then uh, the other thing that we'll want to look at would be the 6CG7. And in this one, they don't they have they have the load lines as well, but they also have some examples for us. I'll go back to the top in a second, but if you look here, we've got the same kind of a thing we can do the load lines if we want. But they also give us some expected uh, values we could use for different types of things. So um, at any rate, let's come back up here though and look at the beginning of this one. It needs 6.3 volts at 0.6 amps. So uh, two of these would be 1.2 amps, and therefore we're gonna have 1.2 plus one is a 2.2 total amp. So if we have a three amp uh, transformer that can push, you know, or three amps at the 63 volts will be good for that and then we'll just have to look at what voltage we want and how many uh, milliamps of current we expect it to run through those as well but that's part of the power supply design so we're gonna as you can see i'm going to try to incorporate all the things i talk about power supply output uh, transformer uh, the particular um, tubes themselves calculate their operating ranges what kind of capacitors we might need all that jazz uh, so um we're gonna just try and make an amp work in a kind of a prototype manner with these tubes. I don't know, these tubes may be bad, they may not work well, but the bigger point really here is that I wanna experiment and I want you guys to come along for the ride. So, uh, of course, this all is gonna be mostly happening after the Dumble build finishes, but I'd still am gonna keep trying to have these little uh, short segments that talk about this kind of stuff. So, um, if we look at this guy, I, I don't know what the, the optimal gain factor will be for these trads, but we're gonna send it through two gain stages uh, and they will end up, uh, you know, we can choose output of either a low impedance drive which comes out at about 200 ohms or we could have a high impedance which is about 100k which i think 100k is typical for a lot of 12 ax 7s and whatnot but they give us the load or anode resistor which is like 100k in this case um, uh, what the cathode resistor should be etc so we'll try and pick what we think sounds like a good voltage a good um, anode and cathode resistor we'll also put in a cathode capacitor and uh, and just trying to go from there so we're gonna go through all these steps kind of one at a time again, similar to the way we did these videos. We're just gonna pick one tube, do that, another tube, do that, uh, to design our what we are gonna try. And then we'll go through and do a schematic of this, set it up the way we think it should work, and then we will um, look at at least powering this on and making sure it works in a local scale before we order power transformers and whatnot. I do have a high voltage power transformer. If you've seen my petite video prototype that I was playing with, and I will probably try and finish that after we get done doing this as well, because I felt that even for me at that time, it was a bit past me understanding how to do some of this. So we're gonna go, and I'm, I've just got a new, tra uh, also just a bench power supply coming that will be, allow me to do DC volts for the heaters, and it goes up to, I think, three to five amps, I can't remember. So we'll be fine in that range also. So uh, please uh, enjoy, come along for the ride, and let me know if there's other things that we should be uh, discussing about this stuff, uh, but, uh, this is uh, hopefully going to be as helpful for you guys as it is for me. All right. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, and it will make my day. Thanks. Bye.